and welcome to Outpass the Rings number 181. And also Tomb Tree Family Tree number 7, I think. Uh, we gotta make this one quick. I'm being chased by some clever girls. Okay, so, oh, right. Uh, uh, d today we're talking about the Karloff MTA split 5 inch that came out on December, no, January 16th of 2020. There's not a whole lot to say. I mean, it's a 5 inch, right? So, there was only 30 copies made. Uh, three labels released it. Uh, Zagma Beach, No Funeral, and Illuminate My Heart. So it's basically like we were the non-band label. So um, Illuminate My Heart was the uh, label from, from Matt, from Amitier, and uh, No Funeral is the label from uh, Nate's, Ethan Foley's uh, Karloff band. So um, it should also be noticed that both these bands are dead now, so there's not really too much point in uh, going into depth too much. Uh, there is a new Karloff uh, spin-off called uh, Basque that's coming out with a new album soon, and I've heard it. It is phenomenal, so definitely check that out. Uh, MHA is a closer, like, recent breakup, so uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. All right, let's dip into it, shall we? So, like we said, uh, 30 copies, 10 copies went to each label, so obviously we got 10. These sold out in the first day. Uh, they are really, really nice, to be honest with you. Uh... There's the front and the back. It's got like the cut, the die cut cover, which is just fantastic. Very nice, very nice. Uh, the lathes are clear and just have the letter of the band on each side. Uh, Tyler Bisson is the person who made these. Uh, I haven't listened to this in a long time. I don't remember how good it is. Some lathes are absolutely terrible. And, uh, what's it called? Little Elephant? Are not. Little Elephant, best lathes around, sound like records. So if you're like, should I do lathes? Do, do Little Elephant, because it's fantastic. Tyler, I don't know if he does them anymore. I'm going to actually check that out, and I will uh, maybe attach it to this post. Yeah. Anyway, each band contributes one song here. So you've got uh, A Love Letter from Amiche. This was one of the first songs where they really delved into the heavier aspects of the bands as opposed to the emo. I think that had to do with at least one member change. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, uh, I do know that someone who was in the band for the 10 inch is not was not in the band by the end of the, their tenure. So it certainly explains a lot of the reasoning why the the, the band shifted its style so much. Because they used to be called uh, Tall Ships, Singing of the Sunset or something like that. Tall Ships. I don't know. Uh, so they used to be like mad emo. So the, there's been a very obvious progression throughout uh, MHA's career, starting with the more emo stuff and ending with like the heavier, most heavy stuff that they ever did. This is definitely one of their, their best songs. I, I really like A Love Letter. Very, uh, very dirty. You got Karloff, The Dead Will Walk the Earth. This is before their full length came out, their one and only full length, so they had like an EP, a live thing, and like a split, and like a comp song or two. Uh, this song is really good too, it totally fits in the Karloff vibe, which is hey, let's go absolutely bananas for a little bit, and then we'll have like a chill jazzy interlude, and then we'll go bananas again. Uh, so that that's a very Karloff style. So these are obviously long sold out. I have one copy left. I will not be parting with mine. Uh, yeah. So I guess let's move on.
tree, family tree number. I'm pretty sure it's seven. I'm just I'm gonna go to check. It's six. All right, it's not seven. It's six. It's a good thing I checked. So, um, I have almost no information for you about this album. This there's two that I have almost I had no connection to, and this is one of them. This is Dave Cullen took care of this one, uh, pretty much in its entirety. Um, so the Glass News album is called No More Dignity. They released something in 2016, or 17, something in 2018, and then as far as I can tell, this was the last release. If you go on Discogs, there's no information about it. So I think, I think we ordered the tapes for them, and then they just took them. I don't think there was any swirling involved in these tapes. I think that's why I don't have one, because this band is, I believe, from Illinois, which is where Cullen's from, so I'm pretty sure he got the tapes, he sent them to the band, and like that was essentially it, and we just promoted it on our Tomb Tree page. This was one of the, this was back in the bought packages era of Tomb Tree, and, um, I mean, not to single it out, because, like, it's, it's, it's a very cool album, but it, this is the kind of stuff that didn't jive with a lot of the other stuff that we were doing, so later on we realized, oh, we gotta kind of, like, pick some genres that we want to do, and, uh, pretty much all the soft stuff kind of fell by the wayside, so we have, like, sassier rock now, and, uh, like, screamo, and, like, metal offshoots like metallic hardcore and, and, and whatnot. So uh, this is this is like I don't even know. It's like techie shoegaze alternative. Uh, it reminds me of the sound of animals fighting. Um, it reminds me of duck tarts and by extension I guess bale. Um, really like soaring vocals that kind of like take over what's going on but the the guitar and instrumentals are, are quite uh, technical and quite interesting. So you kind of expect with those vocals more of like a shoegaze approach to the to the instrumentals, but that was not the case. It was much more technical and rooted in post-hardcore and stuff like that, with some rock elements and stuff too. Um, so if that sounds appeasing to you, check it out. Um, no physical copy for me, so uh, I don't know how many there were. Uh, I don't know nothing, so uh, I, I don't know. All right, so that ends it here. The next uh, Out Past the Rings is going to be a single one, and it will be for the amygdala... Uh, our voices will soar forever. Uh, ah!